In Learning Objective D, we're going to write Exponential Continuous Change Model and solve. So if we look at this, we have a family that has $34,500 in a savings account. It pays an interest rate of 0.71% a year. The interest is compounded continuously, so that's A part. The question is, how long would it take to grow to $40,000? So when I see compounded continuously, I'm just going to put the A part. And we have enough information to fill everything in. The ending amount here is $40,000, so I'll put that here. Our starting amount is $34,500. E is just Euler's number. Be careful on this rate. This is a, a percent. To make it a decimal, move the decimal place 2 to the left. So this is actually going to be 0 .0071. And we don't know the time period, so I can put T or X. So what we've just done is we've created an exponential equation we have to solve. This is the power right here. It's a base E exponent, and we just need to clear this out. So to do that, we have to get rid of the 34,500. We're going to do the algebra and just divide by that on both sides. Now I'm just going to keep it as a fraction, but I'm going to notice those zeros cancel out. So I'm just going to put 400 over 345. You could put this as a decimal in your calculator, but I'm just going to keep it as exact for now. And that is equal to e to the point zero zero seven one t. Now the exponent is isolated by itself, so let's rewrite it as a logarithm. This is log base e of that equals this. So if we write that, let's kind of do the swoosh so you can see it. And I'm going to put log base e for now of 400 over 345 equals 0 0.0071t. Now again we normally don't write it like this so let's do rewrite it with this natural log. So this is just natural log of 400 over the 345 equals again 0 0.0071t. To do the algebra on this to get t by itself just divide by the 0 0.0071 on both sides. So what I'm going to put in my calculator is I'm going to type the natural log of 400 over 345, hit enter, and then divide it by this value. When you do that, what you're going to get for an answer is 20.83, and the time period we're talking about here is going to be in years. So it's going to take them over 20 years to make their money grow from 34500 to 40000 if someone is sitting at the bank hitting the button continuously, but it's a pretty low interest rate, so that's why. Let's try this one. How long would it take $10,000 to grow to $15,000 in a savings account at 2.59% interest? Again, compounding continuously, that is the trigger for APERT. Let's just fill in what we have. Ending amount is $15,000, but we're going to start with $10,000. And Euler's number. The rate here is 0 0.0259, and I'll just use x this time for the time period. Again, this is the power, or the entire exponent, we need to get by itself, so let's clear out the 10,000. So I'll divide by 10,000 on both sides. And I'm going to notice that all these zeros cancel, so really what I have is 15 over 10, or 1.5 and e to the 0 0.0259 x power. Now the exponent's by itself, so let's rewrite it as a log. Log base e, or natural log, of this is this value. And I'm just going to jump right into the natural log this time. And I'll do 15 divided by 10 is 1.5, 0 0.0259 x. To solve, let's just divide by that last decimal. And what I'm going to type in my calculator then is going to be the natural log of 1.5 divided by this value here. Careful, that's not a negative. And what you're going to get is it's going to take about 15.7 years.